Hello everybody and welcome back to Death of the Outsider. I've looked all over and I cannot find any sign of this Malkione's key anywhere. So I just had to give up and I figure sod it. It's only one bone charm, right? It's not the end of the world. So let's uh, let's get on with what we're supposed to be doing. Inspect. It's been a part of me since this all started. It's cold. Dead. But it still sees. Everything. The void. Like looking under the waves and into the sea. Okay, so I guess we're in the void. This How long has the outsider been drowning at the heart of the void? work and there's something going on over there. Ah, that's the ritual hold. Okay, that's where I need to be going. Back in. Hard to tell. I can actually get a better zoom with my own spike loss than I can with that telescope. That's not right. whole time. There it is. Malchiodi's last notes. What do what I do, what I do for the sake of my studies. The risks are great, but it was never in my nature to leave questions unanswered. Everything must be revealed in time. The others may judge me, but that same desire exists in their own hearts. They are simply too cowardly to pursue it. The only means to the ritual hold lies in pieces, suspended at the moment in time in which that ancient gate was shattered. I will break the oldest and most sacred dictates of our order by simply approaching it. And to attempt to trespass, I do not know if I will succeed, but I must try. Whatever happens to my body, I know that my research is hidden in a safe place in my cell. My life has led to this moment. My wasted youth in the Academy of Natural Philosophy, my time with the Eyeless, my years in the Sanctum, and now I finally, I may finally uncover the secrets of that ancient language. Hmm. That's part of Find Another Way, is it? Oh. Inspect Malchiodi's lodgings. But they're back in the real world. Can I go back via the eye? Is that possible? It's being over there. Maybe, maybe it's intruding into the void as well. I don't know. Yeah, I can't go back. Oh. Hold up, hold up. I know there's enemies around here, so let's not go rushing headlong into god knows what. Let's have a quick look around first. Aha! Envisioned. Mark him up. Okay, that's about as far as I can go. I have no idea how to fight one of these. Would an electrical burst affect it, do you wonder? I mean science. Nope. No, it doesn't. It doesn't care. It gives zero dams about that. Worth knowing. Can I even choke one out? 
sure how to deal with one of these. Can't sneak up on it. Might maybe be able to get a drop on it. Perhaps. If I can get a ledge or something. guys are not to be trifled with. Let's see now what would happen if I were to do that without getting detected though. Because I did mess that up a little. by dropping on him when he's completely unaware. Because, you know, he did... <laughs> he did freak out a little bit when I tried to shoot him with that electrical, electrical burst. He didn't like that. Okay, nope, that didn't that didn't work either. Nasty stuff. I know that if this guy hits me even once, it's over. I don't think I can parry him. No, he's not being staggered. I may have to kill this thing. If I even can. Well, it seems to hurt. It seems to not like that. Ow! Damn it. Okay. I'm learning. <laughs> I mean, hmm. probably best just to avoid them, to be honest. I might be able to kill them, but I'm supposed to be doing low chaos here, so I don't want to kill them. No, let's just let's just leave him be. Sneak past him. Let's go. 
second thoughts, let's do another quick foresight now that I'm here. Oop, and now my foresight version of me is going god knows where. Okay, fine. Okay, I didn't see anybody up in this bit, so this bit seems safe enough. Oh, no, no, I was wrong. There's one right there. These guys are all in the same places I left them, so I think, yeah, this is basically the exact same as it was in the real world, but just with these visioned guys prowling around. Okay. Let's get this wound charm, bone charm even, and oh, hello, this is a bit different. Is that the mark of the outsider? This one was obsessed like all the rest. What did he find out? Okay, we got a combination. Where's the this might reveal it? The topography of the void is dependent upon reality to supply the base material for it to mirror. However, there is one place that has no referent in our world. Though I know the void sees into our hearts, my fellows call it the ritual hold. Some say it is a cradle, others say a tomb. The outsider himself resides there. To even approach the gate to that place is sacrilege. And even then, the void itself keeps it shut to living eyes. Truly, the ritual hold exists outside of time itself. It would be as futile as it is forbidden to it. These are thoughts for another time. My research into this ancient alphabet continues. Some remnants of their phonemic qualities are preserved in our oldest writings. The language possesses an unusual amount of diphthongs, reliant on distinction in tone and pitch to convey meaning. Ch Ch These symbols, I know the very nature of the void runs through them, but is it a dead language or the language of the dead? Perhaps that could be the title of my next monograph. Okay, that did not tell me what the code was being. This is some sort of clue to the code, but... Um, I need to try and see if I can find some rooms that aren't the mark of the outsider. Trio of rooms that would coincide with some of these. Hopefully give me a clue as to the code on the 
safe, I'd imagine. Problem is, where would I even look for such a short of spending hours brute forcing it, I can't think of how to get in. Functions and responsibilities of in recent initiates. Uh, this doesn't look like it's got the code in it, unfortunately. New initiates are to, to our fellowship are required to perform menial tasks for the upkeep of their and senior members' living conditions. These include, but are not limited to, laundering, sanitation and waste disposal, meal preparation, recording dictation and copying notes, maintenance of technical equipment, record keeping and collation. Whatever your station was in life, you are now a custodian of the Eye, a revenant of the Outsider, and a member of our privileged community. Together we watch the ages pass with impunity. Together we maintain the delicate position of reality. Know that in time, the Void will open up its truth to you and all who seek it with a fervor. Okay, well, that's interesting as that is. It's not getting me into that safe. Okay, 85, that, I don't think that's to do with the safe though. I think that's just minor graffiti. I suppose I could give it a try, I mean, what's it wasn't going to hurt. <laughs> it's probably not the code, but it's worth checking out, right? Let's uh, be a little careful of that guy, because again, I'm not entirely sure if I can even kill these things. <laughs> Didn't think so. Okay, where, 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 where might I find the? Oh, there was food in the void. <laughs> uh, where might I find the code? Yeah, I've got these guys all marked up. 
nothing to worry about, and then I get spotted. Yeah. Lesson learnt. Okay, um, still haven't found this blasted combination yet, though. somewhere but god only knows where I may have to cheat on this one I don't like to but that's the, the non-lethal way to deal with the outside was in that safe so do this not low chaos, I kind of have to get into that safe. I don't have a choice in the matter. Problem is, I don't see the combination anywhere. Um, I didn't do it. You all saw me. I never touched him. Well, he might have bumped into me a bit, but... I mean, I was trying to choke him out for a moment there, but... It didn't work. And then he just sort of fell off. Um... Include the code though. Ah. Okay, uh, this seems to be a sensible stopping point for this episode though, so uh, let me get to somewhere. 
relatively safe where these yeah. envisioned aren't anywhere near me. So I think we'll do. And I shall end this episode here. Try and figure out how to find this code. And we can come back in the next episode. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay bad.